Hi there, I'm Paul Booton. I'm one of the doctors who works at the National Migraine Centre. In today's Thursday Tips, I'm going to talk a little bit about hemiplegic migraine, which we get a lot of questions about, even though it's actually a very rare condition. We also see a lot of patients who've been told they've got hemiplegic migraine, although often, after talking to them and examining them, it turns out this is not the case. So what is hemiplegic migraine? Well, it's a particularly strange form of migraine where you get the symptoms of a stroke with it. Now, it's a stroke, but it doesn't last very long. Like other migraine symptoms, it gets better, and we want to know that it's getting better over 24 hours before we make a diagnosis of that. The risk is always um, with someone who comes with symptoms of a stroke that they've got an actual stroke, and therefore one of the things which is very important is if this is the first time it's happened to you, is that you should consult a doctor straight away in case you're actually having a stroke. That's important these days because there's a lot you can do with a stroke too, and the quicker you see people, the better the recovery is. So that's a very, very important thing to uh, bear in mind. What happens with hemiplegic migraine is that the person develops weakness often in their arm, sometimes in their face and sometimes in their leg. Um, that's as part of a more general picture of migraine. So they'd usually also get the typical visual aura, they'd sometimes get slurred speech, they'd sometimes get pins and needles down one side. Um, and usually afterwards they get a headache with it. Um, and it goes through the normal pattern of a migraine, and then after a time it resolves and things go back to normal again. And it's very important. One of the diagnostic things we're interested in is to make sure that everything has gone back to normal again. Um, otherwise we worry it might be something else going on. Um, what am I going to say now? This is a difficult diagnosis to make, and the reason it's a difficult diagnosis is that it's often quite difficult to be sure that you've developed weakness in one side. Now, that sounds like a very strange thing to say. It's usually obvious, you might think. But an example is, if you've ever had a dead leg, you've sort of sat on your leg awkwardly for a while, and you try to get up, and your leg's completely numb. You can't feel anything in it. And what you find is it's quite difficult to actually walk on that leg because you don't know where your leg is positioned in space. And that's exactly what happens with a lot of people who get migraine symptoms where they get um, sensory loss down one side. And that's very, very common as part of a migraine, unlike hemiplegic migraine, which, as I say, is really very rare. Um, and the trouble is that it's sometimes difficult, it's often difficult, to tell one from the other. Moreover, you're usually seen for it when you're seen in a hospital, you're usually seen after it's all happened. And um, so the doctors have to rely on what you're telling them about it and they can't examine you to see if there's a genuine weakness or whether it was just a lack of feeling. So it's quite difficult for the doctors. And because of that, and because it's a sort of popular diagnosis amongst, uh, sometimes amongst A&E doctors, it tends to get overdiagnosed. In fact, it's very rare, and about half the people we see with genuine hemiplegic migraine have it as an inherited condition, and it runs in their family. The other half, it just appears out of the blue. What about treatment? Well, it's a sort of migraine, and it's really the treatment is the same as any other kind of migraine. People often get quite worried about using triptans in hemiplegic migraine because of worries that it looks like a stroke, and so the triptans maybe would cause a stroke. There's very, very little well, in fact, there's no evidence to suggest this is actually true, but you may find your doctor worrying about that. The main thing is, if you think you've got symptoms of hemiplegic migraine, get yourself seen by a specialist as soon as you can, like the specialist at the National Migraine Centre, who can help pick out exactly what it is and what the best treatment is for you. If it's the first time it's happened, get yourself seen by a doctor straight away. Don't wait, just in case it's actually a stroke. That's Thursday Tips for this week. Thank you.